I think this chapter probably can be difficult for some because you, you're reading it and you're saying, okay, here are the attributes of being a disciple of Christ. Then he's saying, I need to raise the bar. And then he ends it with, be ye therefore perfect. And, you know, a lot of times we're sitting and again, we look out and we're like, man, everyone else is good, but I'm struggling with this mm -hmm. or that or these other mistakes. And, and we beat ourselves up. But with Christ and, and the way he makes up our weaknesses, we can achieve that perfectness. President Nelson uh, had something about this when it comes to sometimes we look at that, like you said, this perfection. It's like, how in the world am I ever going to get this? And uh, he kind of teaches us a valuable principle when he says, we all need to remember men are that they might have joy, not guilt trips. <laughs> Please note that the word perfection does not imply freedom from error. It implies achieving a distant objective. Can you teach us a little bit about what that means? The, dif the difference between seeking to be error-free and achieving a distant objective. I like the way that President Nelson is engaging with like the Greek root mm -hmm. that's here that we have in the Gospels, which is teleos. And you guys have heard tell. Television, right? Is watching something that's far away. Okay. So this word teleos implies, uh, sometimes it's used for like a goal, reaching toward a goal, that there's your father. And in some ways that verse is the most kind of Latter-day Saint Extreme, like, you can be like your father. Really, no, I mean that, right? But it's not be free of errors now. It's this is a vision of what you can become. Okay. Sometimes that same word is used just for being mature, right? Like a, a kid becoming an adult, the same way that we spiritually are children of a father, but we will become adults, we'll become, be mature, like your father in heaven is mature, so yeah, there's definitely in, in this verse, it's not an expectation that right now you're there with everything. It's a vision of what our nature is and what we are capable of becoming with Christ and his atonement. <laughs>